There is a late evening scent I love. There is a magnolia scent uh, I love. There are the sun scents and also there are the fog scents uh, as well. My name is Koo Chung Ah. I'm an artist living and working everywhere. Through open calls and individual meetings, advertisements, we said send in your Korean scent memory. So we have received around 600 scent memories from the North Korea and South Korea, from the different people. That warm smell hits you. That first experience of smelling Korea and smelling your mother country, it was like this overwhelming experience. And I kind of tear up when I think about it right now. We were passing by this place where they were like harvesting uh, cabbage for kimchi. And you had this kind of sense of this earthy sense um, you know, the smell of a little bit of diesel and, and different things like mixed together when you were like doing this kind of harvest process. There's a lot of people in the fields. Being part of this project has made me more aware of scents, of how you meet scents or smells in your daily life and how it's also links to, to emotions and, and things you can't control so much. Ku read them all, we read them all and we selected keywords from the stories. For instance, public bath, old electronics. All these stories, they were made into perfumes and these are placed in the pavilion. dispersed in the space on shelves, uh, on these small ceramic uh, balls high up in the space. You won't necessarily come close to them. Scent you can't see, it's invisible. So the space is very minimal, but scent is everywhere. This is a steamed rice scent, which Koreans always eat the rice every day. And then also I was just so amazed how perfumer exactly presented steam rice. This is a smell called Jang Dokde. It's a Korean word, which means big stone bowl, where you usually put the kimchi. Even you just make a three meters apart, you still smell like something like a fermented soy sauce and fermented like um, sesame oils and something like that. That's also one of my favorite because it's exactly reflect the Korean. Most of the same memories are very emotional and very precise. I consider sand as a, like a, a very precise material like uh, bronze and wood. Uh, it is invisible, but it is uh, material. In the pavilion, there is a figure, Us. The figure is made out of bronze. It's it's almost levitating. And then through its nostrils, there, there's steam and scent coming out. And the perfume is the Odorama City. That's the Odorama City's scent. A perfume that sums up modern Korean history. who is trying to sort of step into something kind of otherworldly, something which haven't really been tested before, and trying to expose those things to us. So I think there's a generosity that I really appreciate, but also definitely a very subtle and beautiful aesthetic. There are two sculptures, two Mubius rings, the, the bands spin around themselves in like an endless motion. 
So the, the symbols that are used uh, in the floor, in the Mubius, are sort of like eternal symbols. They, they loop into each other. And that's an important theme, the eternity, the, the, the levitation, something that spins into itself. often works with lightness, with endlessness, uh, in many of their projects. Minimal gestures and the very simple mediums. This immersiveness of a space. It may look really minimal, but there's a lot of emotions and feelings when you walk into the space. Our extended nations, our borderless creativity, it is uh, very uh, important for me to, to have done this project.